Tommy, right? Now, what was I talking about? Oh, I'm laughing. Now then, have any of you got girlfriends or boyfriends? Have you? Have you got a girlfriend? Well, a lad, he's got a girlfriend. <gasps> he's in love. Hey, I bet your girlfriend's not royalty, is she? No, well, a lad insists because he's in love with Princess Rosie Lee. Oh, I think she's wonderful. Anyway, talking about the lad, well, I'm not used to doing this much talking. He should be here now. <laughs> I'm getting a bit of a sore throat. Could you help me shout for a lad in a female cold? Come on, a lad!
girlfriend. Oh, she's the girl of my dreams, true enough. But nothing can ever become of it. And why not? I hope she doesn't think she's too good for you just because you work in your mother's tea shop. Well, you're probably right, but she is royalty after all said and done. Royalty? <laughs> royalty? Not! Not Princess Di! <laughs> I know things haven't worked out between her and Charles, but I never thought. Just think, I could be Wills and Harry's own to twenty kids. We could put by royal appointments above the tea shop. Mind you, we'd have to get another telephone. I'm not having her ringing up every ten minutes. We've got a business to run. I can see it now. A Latin gate. Oh no. <laughs> not Princess Di, the Empress daughter, the Princess Rosie Lee. Oh now she's more your cup of tea. <laughs> oh. But there's only one thing that worries me a bit though. What's that? Well I'll have to learn to speak dead proper, won't I? Oh, what do you mean? Well, everyone in the princess has come and talk dead posh. How can I learn to talk like that? Oh, don't worry about that. It's dead easy. <laughs> of course it is. I, I can teach you if you want. Would you? Oh, that would be lovely. <laughs> All right, then you can have your first lesson now. All right. All right, then we'll lesson you one. How to greet your beloved's parents. That's a good start. Oh, it's very important to create a good impression. Now, what do you call the stuff that we breathe? Air. And where do you go if you don't go to heaven? Hell. And what do you call the stuff we breathe again? Air. Now, say it all together. Air, hell, air. Air, hell, air. <laughs> Aladdin, don't go building up your hopes too high. I mean, I don't want you disappointed like you were last time. What last time? What are you talking about? Oh, you know, when you, you, you fell for that pop star, that, um, that Maradona woman. Oh, <laughs> well, first it was all, it was Miss Johnny. It was only because I liked her music. Oh, well, all right then. So you say, well, well, we'll forget about that. But, but I still don't want you disappointed, so... Don't go building your hopes too high. But don't you see, Mum? Faint hearts never won fair lady. And anyway, there's nothing the matter with high hopes. No hopes never get anywhere, but high hopes are sometimes do. So which would you rather be? <coughs>
for me to be happy. But now I really must get along. <coughs> now, you do know what to do while I'm away, don't you? Yes, no matter how many more times I have to tell you. But I must admit, I am a bit worried about those two new helpers you took on. Oh, you mean uh, prawn chop suey and chicken chow mein? No, are you punk and you would blow dung. Oh, they just seem like a couple of nice lads down on their luck to me. I think there's more to them than meets the eye. Oh, stop fussing. I'm sure they'll be all right. Now, I really must get along. Yes, I'll come and help you. <laughs>
stop the grey phaeton. You know, it, besides sunny squeezing pose, she used to shout, if you want me to go any further, I scream. <laughs> yes. But it's only to be expected, isn't it, dear? After all, people have been impatient to get to their destination since, well, since time began, really. Yes. I do wish, though, dearest, that Rosie would find herself a nice husband. There was nothing at all wrong with any of those that she rejected. I agree. <coughs> but never mind. Like the lady who watched her photographs, someday her twins will come. <laughs> <laughs> come along, Rosie. We haven't much time. I promised that we'd be there by a week. Thespians, 
That's what they are. Thespians. Oh! <laughs> I've read all about them in the Sunday paper. <laughs> he and them good church folk and all. <laughs> it's not quite that. They're not church. Chapel, you know. It's not the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, 
very, very badly. Do Well, it's not the fact you want it. Thank you. I don't. Was it 
acontecendo? Are you the owner? No, that's my mother. I'm just looking after the shop for her while she's away for a few days. 
Here's my card. As you can see, my name is P.G. Stetson, and I'm the health and safety inspector for this area. And this is a list of the faults I found during my visit. Kindly have them rectified before I come again, or I'll see to it that your mother never, ever, never has charge of a tea shop again. Good day, sir. Scotty? Bye! A band of marauding Middlesbrough supporters came in here and they went berserk because they've never seen a cook before. <laughs> Nay, she a fantasy. 
Nothing worth considering this side of infinity. But what is it apparently so unlikely? Middlesbrough winning the FA Cup. <laughs> I see what you mean. I am indebted to you, Master. I am now yours. And for as long as you have the teapot, I am empowered to grant you three wishes. Three wishes? Yes, three wishes. Use them wisely. Oh, dear, what kind of wishes? Carefully now. Use your... Oh, no, 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 Well, that's my fault, so I must rectify it. I must use my second wish to bring back your first speech, because if you can't speak, you can't help me. So here goes. I wish you could speak again. Thank you, Master. But now you have but one wish remaining. I know. I know. I wish Princess Rosalie was mine forever. Your wish will be granted, Master. And here is how it will be accomplished. This teapot has very special powers. A drink of tea from this pot will seal a match. But the lady must drink from it before sunset. Well, I'd better practice very, very carefully. Yes, be careful it does not fall into the hands of your enemies. For be warned, I must obey whoever has possession of the teapot. <laughs> And now, Master, if you will forgive me, I must go. For I have a family whom I have not seen for many a year, whilst I have been cooped up inside this teapot. What year is it, by the way? Um, it's 1995. And the date? The 24th of February. I must go and buy some flowers. It's my wife's 723rd birthday tomorrow. <laughs> she wants an aerobics video. <laughs> if you need me, Master, just shout, Yoo-hoo, typo! That's it, Master. Goodbye. In fact, to give you my full job description, I am the Methodist Church 
Darlington District, Red Cart, Saltburn and Gisborough Circuit, Gisborough Church, Cleaning Operative Supervisor. Oh. In short, girls, your supervisor. And I have come to supervise. What's happened to Mrs. Twining? Oh, <laughs> yes. Mrs. Twining. I'm afraid it was thought Mrs. Twining was. How can I put this? Rather too lenient with her staff. Too lenient? Yes, far too lenient. Not getting the optimum performance from the clinic operatives in their team, or so they said. And I quite see what they meant. But all this is about to end, ladies. Do you mind? Me and Doris here, we've been working really hard, haven't we, Doris? We have, Ethel. Yes, it looks like it, I must say. Well, it's not easy when you've got hordes of folks dressed in silly costumes, leaving their mucky footprints all over our nicely washed floors. And where are they then, these hordes of people? Ah, yes, I see them, teeny in their thousands, thunderous cohorts, massing in the wings, just waiting for you to get your muck out of the bucket before they swarm into view. Oh, get on with it, you two. I'll be back later on, and I want this place as bright and shiny as the proverbial new pin. Ladies? What a terrible woman. She's a tyrant, Doris. I don't think she believed you when you said about them thespians. I'm sure she didn't. Hey, up the rear again. Let's tell Mrs. Tetley what's going on. Oh, now don't you start. We went through all that earlier. Well, we should have been there by now. Yes, but well, we're not, are we? Do stop, Nanny. I had no idea it was as far as this. Let's face it, dear. We're lost, aren't we? No, we are definitely not lost. I just don't know where I am exactly. <laughs> ah, ah, there you are, you see? I knew all the time we were on the right road. Hmm, yes. Well, well, we might as well have a rest. Rosie Lee and Cavalier are miles behind us. Where on earth are they? I think they're both on cloud nine. Why must you always talk in riddles, my dear? What's all this cloud nine business? <coughs> really, darling, sometimes I think you walk around with your eyes closed. But I still haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Oh, never mind. Really, my puppet, you must try not to overexcite yourself. I think you've been watching far too much Brookside. It isn't television fantasy land, you know. Things don't happen here while they're doing fiction. This is hard, cruel, pantomime land, where the men are men. Well, well, some of them. <laughs> uh, and the women are women. Uh, where some of the men are women, or, or rather they dress like women, uh, and some of the women are men, or, or pretend to be, or, or at least their clothes... Where are those two anyway? <laughs> oh, they'll be along shortly. I'm sure they have plenty to talk about. When do you think that we will ever get rid of... I mean, when do you think we'll ever find her husband? I'm beginning to despair that it will ever happen. I mean, look at all the marvellous suitors that she's turned down already. Prince Assam. Now, he would have suited her to a tea. He's shown extensive tea plantations in Redcar. There's no tea in Redcar. Well, uh, 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 quite right, my dear. Well done. Oh, and then there was that Bond fella. James Bond? No, Wook Bond. <laughs> you know, the tea tycoon from Sedgefield. There's no tea in Sedgefield either. Not now there isn't. He's corn at the market. Very shrewd cookie hour, Wookie. <laughs> oh, never mind. The 
point is, dearies, I think that whomever our lovely daughter chooses, it will be someone she has picked herself, and not one selected by either you or me. Except that if we choose them, we can at least rely upon their pedigree, chum. <laughs> we are choosing for her, not a tin of dog food. <laughs> or she might prefer someone who has whiskers. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you could be right. She might like to choose her own chappy. <laughs> oh, come on. If we stay here any longer, you'll be telling us that if she chooses a millionaire, she'll win a lot. <laughs> Oh, I get it. Very good, yes. You know any more? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness, that's fine. Come on, far now. I'm getting rather tired. So much for being a member of the royal party. Yes, I'm afraid Father's royal status is a bit tarnished these days. It's not exactly what you'd call first division royalty. No. Let's concentrate on what we're going to do to see 
those two again. A lot of them. Tommy, who else does it? <laughs> I can't explain the way I feel at the moment. I don't think you need to. I know already. Seriously though, things feel different to what we did this morning. <laughs> Employment by 
anybody other than Earl Grey. So let's get on with hiding. Look for some place where we'll know we can find it when we come back again. Right. Right. I'll look over here. And I'll look over there. Right. Can't see anywhere now you're yet, can you? No, no, not too much. You won't do it, do you? This looks ideal. It's some sort of nest or something. But nobody would ever think. Look at the size of that nest. There. It's massive. Oh, you tell me about it. Oh. Good job, well done, Laura. Huh? Here you come. What? You're still in bed, aren't oh, you? Oh, I suppose so. I mean, I know I'm a bit dim sometimes. Sometimes. But I don't mind you calling me names as long as you've always been my friend. Because hmm. you see. There are some things I've been meaning to say, but until now I couldn't find a way. They say oh, I want to would take far too long, but this wraps it up in the world.
Bully hates it. Well, I don't know what to make of it. Who's that geezer with the green belly? What's he <laughs> Search me. I think he must have something to do with the fairy at the beginning. Yes, she had a lot of green about her, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. And I suppose you could say that in the same line of business. Yes. Do you think they're coming back on again? Oh, probably. We haven't done a stroke since Mrs. Tetley told us off. Our Mrs. Tetley is a very bitter woman. She certainly sounds it. <laughs> Actually, I've been making a few inquiries while we've been back there waiting. Have you? have. And? I found out that our Mrs. Tetley is a very well-balanced person. Well-balanced? <laughs> Mrs. Tetley? Yes, she's got a chip on both her shoulders. <laughs> I see. Actually, I've heard she's a bit of a slave driver. Where have you heard that from? Or oh, somebody you ought to know. Who? Her husband. If he calls her she, you must be obeyed. She leads him a bit of a dance then. Oh, she certainly does. Here, Dar. I know it. I know what you're going to say. Somebody's blowing up. It must be the tea break. Quick, let's get there before the battle. <laughs> Yeah. When it comes to the bit where it's 
says, all the little boys excited. Oh, yes. All the little boys and all the big boys too can go, yes! <laughs> <laughs> can you do that? Mind you, we can't let the little boys have something to do without the little girls. Oh, so when it says, all the little girls delighted, all the little girls and the big girls can go, hee 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 hee.
I think I can help you there, Mrs. Twinkie. Oh, please call me Twinkie. <laughs> think I can help you, Twinkie. <laughs> You're not married, are you? No, no, still waiting for Miss Wright to come along. But she's closer than you think. <laughs> Yes, I had dealings with your brother some years ago through my job. I remember it very well. It was about ten years ago, I think. And he was just becoming a very successful businessman. I was just a young civil servant at the time, working for Langbell for a council. Well, that was just about the time that he stopped coming to see me. Yes, of course, to visit one of his tea shops to inspect it and... Oh, go on! I'm sorry. I haven't thought about this particular incident for some time. One tends to only remember the happy things in life. Doesn't one, Twinkie? Oh, yes, <laughs> But please get on with your story. As I was saying, I inspected one of the tea shops. The one in Skelton, I think it was. Yes, it was, the one in Skelton. And I found out things weren't as they should have been. Oh, I'm not a bit surprised. But what was it? And he was using the tea bags three times. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Don't believe it. Yes, I'm afraid so. He advertised it as a very rare tea that had been recycled by specially bred sign in his cats. And that accounted for his weakness. Recycled? Yes, recycled. What do you mean, recycled? His word, Twinkie, not mine. Perhaps a better word would have been past. Past? I filed it under the letter P. And I told myself that next time he stepped out of line, I'd bring it out into the open. I don't blame you. And I think just such an occasion's presented itself. Don't you, Twinkie? Oh. What is your name? Oh, my names are very long and silly. Take my tip. Call me PG. <laughs> Talking initials. E Y I. I've never met a woman like you. There's something different about you. <laughs> Perhaps it's just that I have charisma. You <laughs> have a certain presence. Perhaps I have both charisma's presence. <laughs> Christmas presence. Why did the joke a well? Now, I really must be going. About that little business this morning, don't you worry your pretty little head. I can see you with a lovely little tea shop here. Oh, must you go, PG? Will I see you again? See you, PG? Rest assured, you'll see me very soon. Because, you see, I really do want to make up for this morning. <coughs> I want to make you a cup of my special tea. When you say special... Oh, no, no. No, the tea bag only used once, and not a cat in sight. Oh, good, I thought it might run in the family. Oh, perish the thought, you little tinker. <laughs> no, my tea is special, because it's only made for two. <laughs>
advantage. I'll come with you, Fiji, but I seem to have lost the tea teapot. I'll have to buy another one. Come along then. <laughs> I told you about the genie. How can I misplace something like that? Well, you're saying it's been stolen. That's exactly what I am saying, and I know who did it. Who? E.U. Pong. I beg your pardon? E.U. Pong, that conniving sofa that Mother Hyde has taken out, along with his dim witted friend, Who Flung Dome. Well, did you see them steal it? No, I didn't see them, but my friends here did. Didn't you, boys and girls? Yes! Yeah. We must get that teapot back, Tommy. We must. It is the only thing I have of winning the princess's heart. Well, come to think of it, I saw those two not an hour ago, scooting up towards those woods, and they were laughing like hyenas. Were they carrying a teapot? Well, no, I don't <coughs> think so. Hey, but that EU Pong looks so he had something shoved up his jumper. That must have been the teapot. It must have been. You don't know how important it is that we get that teapot back. The princess must drink a cup of tea made from that teapot before sunset. Well, what are we waiting for then? To the one! <laughs> Very well, we did very badly. Very 
badly. Very, very badly. Very, very badly. What he means, boss, is we did very, very badly from your sister's point of view. Yes. Will you shut up? We just said what you're going to have more than trouble. The brain gave up what you're about to wash We did so badly that all of the customers walked out. Now that is good. And what's more, one of them was a health and safety inspector. Ooh, yes, a health and safety inspector, you say? Yep, pretty good, huh? Yeah, maybe yes, uh, maybe no. You didn't by any chance catch the name of this health and safety inspector, did you? P.J. Stetson. What did you say? P.J. Stetson. We, 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 we thought you'd be pleased by that, boss. Yes. Yes, of course I'm pleased. Of course I am. Hands off! P.J. Stetson, eh? I must be careful how I tread with this one. He has information which could finish me. He left Aladdin with a great big long list of jobs which he has to get put right or the tea shop will be closed down. Now that is very good. And there's more. Come on then, spit it out. Well, after we left, I remembered I'd forgotten something. So I went back and I saw Aladdin talking to a great big green man. Are you sure you didn't call into the pub on the way back? No, you didn't. Oh, no, no. This, this guy was called Typhoon. And he lived in a teapot. A great big green man called Typhoon who lived in a teapot. If this is some sort of joke, then you'll both be in trouble. No, no, no. no. Listen, he said he was a genie and he granted a land three wishes. Now that is very interesting. And what's more, he said that whoever has the teapot could have three wishes granted to them as well. Just think what I could do with help like that. With just one wish, I could make the tea shop mine. <laughs> and I still have the other two left in reserve. That's what I thought, boss. So, I pinched it. Good man! Well done! I um, um, Where is it? We're hitting it! You've done what? We're, we're hitting it! And why have you hidden it? I don't know where we're hitting it! You don't tell me! three wishes if we wanted them. I don't believe what I'm hearing. Haven't either of you two heard of that flow of loyalty? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I think they are, yes. Did like you be 40? Yes. Where's he gone? Where is he? No, no, boy! <laughs> I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement over this, um, this storm in a teapot. Storm in a teapot! <laughs> Finished? Yes. What, uh, what sort of agreement might that be? Why, um, financial, of course. Ooh, now that's my sort of agreement. How about a small down payment now and the rest on receipt of the aforementioned teapot. Fair enough. Come on, this one now. Just a moment! Just a moment there. Yes? You surely don't think I'm just going to let you two walk off with my money, possibly never to be seen again, do you? Good try though, wasn't it? Does that mean you want to come with us? I most certainly do. I did not get where I am today by not following my money wherever it went. Leon, Doctor. No, hey, you punk! I beg your pardon! Don't call him, Doctor! Call him a 
those two. First of all, we have a big green man in a teapot, and now we have a giant chicken!
dear. I believe this young man has yet to plight his troth. Oh, whatever it is, prospective bride will do. Yes, of course, but first I was to ask the emperor. He is your father and his wife's prophet. Sire, though I am unworthy, I wish to keep your daughter's hand in marriage. Well, can you tell me what prospects you have, my boy? Oh, 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 very well. Everything seems to be in order. You may marry my daughter. Oh, Sire, you may be the happiest man in the land. And as your future son-in-law, I have a further request to ask of you. Oh, go ahead. What is it? I ask that my friend Tommy may also wait for lady to your court for Lady Calamire, and that we may be married on the same day. Oh, very well. So be it. Yes. Oh, what a perfect day this is me. There's only one thing with me. Your mother! Yes, where is she? Has anyone seen her? Yeah. Yeah. Henry. 
You were rather critical about their social activities. Oh, no, the super splash. Oh, yes, the super splash. Now, what was it you said exactly? It was Act 1, 3, 3, halfway down the page. And I quote, <laughs> assuming you got the line right in the first place, they go to the back together, this lot. Now, there seems to be an awful lot implied in that short, simple sentence, don't you think? And before that, you said, they're not church chapel, you know. It's not the same thing. Now, that sounds like a line from the parish pantomime, don't you think? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Please, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I really sorry. needed this job. I come from a very poor family. Times are hard.
men. The lad in finally met his love and so to as his friend. And with old Twankies wed at last. I door she gets on well with her new husband because she is now Mrs. Stetson. Well, <laughs> Graham met his fate because of trying to steal those wishes. He's been sentenced to a life of washing up the tea shop dishes. He you pump and who flung down, their naughtiness is sickened. They've got the job of hunting down that great big giant chicken. <laughs> but all this happiness just makes me sad. Aww. Because you see, I'm lonely. Aww. My husband disappeared many years ago Aww. when I was a lonely.